Greetings to all. My name is Zuhair Prasun Sai, and the topic of my research paper is Challenges in Quality of Education in Higher Education Institutions of Pakistan. Introduction. What does quality mean in the context of education? Many definitions of quality in education exist, testifying to the complexity and multifaceted nature of the concept. Considerable consensus exists around the basic dimensions of quality education today. Quality education includes learners who are healthy, well-nourished, and ready to participate and learn, and supported in learning by their families and communities. Environment that is healthy, safe, protective, and gender-sensitive and provide adequate resources and facilities. In Pakistan, the quality education system is categorized into five levels. These are primary level from class one to five, middle level from class six to eight, secondary level from class nine to 10, intermediate level class 11 to 12, and university level from class 13 to onwards. After focusing on levels of education system, if we talk about schools, colleges, and universities, they are also categorized into three types. These are government institutions, private institutions, and madrasas. Quality of education and higher education institutions of Pakistan is really having a bad configuration at the moment. There is no doubt in accepting the fact that education stands the backbone for the development of nation. Pakistan is still struggling with the lowest literacy rate 60% in the world even after 74 years of its existence. The study attempts to analyze the various challenges in quality of education in higher education institutions of Pakistan. The role of total quality management in education Null sectors is the basic research problem. In Pakistan, the quality of education has a declining trend. Previous researches provided only short term solutions of the problems and information related to public sector higher education institutions. In this research, most important challenges are being discussed along with their recommendations. This research will be helpful to students, researchers, managers, policy makers, trainers, target population, and general public. Statement of the problem. This research is aimed at identifying the factors affecting quality of education and higher education institutions of Pakistan. Research questions are What are the challenges in quality of education and higher education institutions of Pakistan? What solutions can be proposed in order to improve the quality of education and higher education institutions of Pakistan? Objectives of the study. The main objective of this study is to identify the challenges in quality of education and higher education institutions of Pakistan. And the sub objectives are to identify the relationship between curriculum and quality of education, to identify the relationship between less training institutions and quality of education, relationship between corruption in education and quality of education, relationship between teachers' behavior and quality of education, relationship between less research work and quality of education. As you can see, the theoretical framework in front of you. These are the research hypotheses. Methodology. An exploratory appro uh, approach has been adopted for this research. The reason for using this approach is to identify the challenges in quality of education and higher education institutions of Pakistan. A sample of five universities was selected on the basis of commonality such that all institutions were from the public sector and chartered by the same provincial government. Similar environment dependency on same superior ministry locality and nature justified selection of this sample. A total of 100 questionnaires for each university were filled by the students and teachers of the focus five universities. The researcher used triangulation in order to carry the reliability and validity of the data for results. So to conduct this triangulation, the researcher used polling survey for students, questionnaire for the teachers and institutes of the management. As you can see the categorization of students, teachers and management in front of you. This is the summary of students feedback for data analysis. Summary of teachers feedback and interviews were conducted in the form of transcription. Results and discussion. In this study, the researcher has applied Pearson correlation to check the hypothesis. The value of Pearson correlation varies between 1 and minus 1. 
alternatively stated if values higher than zero then this means that relation is favorable although the relation is not favorable when the value is less than zero as you can see the pearson correlation of curriculum and quality of education is 0.576 uh less training institutions and quality of education is 0.862 corruption in education and quality of education is 0.405 teachers behavior and quality of education is 0.644 less research work and quality of education is 0.687 conclusion this paper concludes that education develops people in all domains of life such as social moral spiritual political and economic with effective education system many countries are playing a leadership role in the formation of nation the quality of education system in pakistan has not been able to play its role effectively in nation building this sector has contributed towards development of frustration among the pakistani society finally this study concludes that there is an urgent need to reform the system of quality of education in pakistan and for this purpose the study presents the following recommendations curriculum should be evaluated on annual basis and this regard a vast survey could be conducted to seek options of teachers parents and community regarding their expectations and observations in this slide the expert recommendations of the research education researchers the curriculum goals should be redefined in the view of importance of education the government should take solid steps towards implementation instead of projecting policy like forming an evaluation team that could take control of the quality of education in this regard the government should establish more training institutions for better and continuous teacher of quality of education in pakistan the system of accountability must be strengthened and all the professionals associated with the system of education should be educated to own their responsibilities on individual and collective basis this helps in creating a sense of ownership of the system and its function government should conduct workshops and training programs making teachers aware about their behavior towards students the culture of research should be promoted within educational institutions for this purpose the pace of research oriented programs in teaching and learning should be accelerated in educational institutions around the country especially at high level government should increase the volume of funding to higher education commission for this purpose these are the references Thank you.